Welcome to another edition of The Brush with Greatness. Today will be a scripture reading edition of The Brush with Greatness, in which I, Alexander the Great, read James 5 of the Holy Bible, King James Version. Let's begin. Verse 1 Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Verse 2 Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth eaten. Verse 3, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Verse 4, behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Verse 5, ye have lived in pleasure on the earth, and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts, as in a day of slaughter. Verse 6, ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. Verse 7, be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it, until he received the early and latter rain. Verse 8. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Verse 9. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Verse 10. Take, my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Verse 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Verse 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15. And a prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Verse 16. Confess your faults to one another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Verse 17. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Verse 18, And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Verse 19, Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, verse 20, Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall have a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. Well, that's it for today's edition of the Rush of Greatness. The next edition of the Brush of Greatness will be The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Chapter 8. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at WWEVAlexander. Follow me on Instagram at AlexanderGreat underscore ATG. Follow me on YouTube and like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been The Brush of Greatness. Peace! Alexander, out!